What's up, Tasty Tasters? What's up, Tasty Tasters? So today we are making chicken, chicken meatballs, stromboli pizzas with bacon, okay? So what you're going to need is some blue agave, organic, pizza sauce, marinara sauce, Pizza crust. I'm using Trader Joe's pizza crust. This crust is awesome, you guys. If you can find it at your Trader Joe's, definitely get it. You're going to need some olive oil. You're going to need some thyme, some red pepper flake, some smoked paprika. You're going to need some Mrs. Jash Chipotle. You're going to need some garbanzo beans, some cumin, some peppercorns, black, pink Himalayan salt, minced onion, garlic powder, onion powder, Sular Grill and our Champs River. So guys, go ahead and grab your ingredients so we can get to cooking. So, okay, guys, we're about to make our pizza sauce. So, we're going to use pizza sauce. We're going to use a half of a cup. We're going to measure this out. So, we're using half of a cup of pizza sauce, you guys. Then we're going to use half of a cup of organic marinara sauce. So I'm going to pour that in. I don't want to use that same spoon. Oops. So right at a half a cup. Excessive half cup. And we're just going to stir this together. To this, guys, to break up a little bit of the monotony of this. We're going to add in a fourth of a teaspoon, just a fourth, to bring out some sweetness in this. It brings out the naturalness. A fourth of a teaspoon of our blue agave. This is a sweetener. Okay. We're also going to add to this a fourth of a teaspoon, approximately. Actually, a teaspoon of minced onion. Just for flavor. We're going to add a pinch of Soulard Grill. Just a pinch. You don't need a lot. A pinch of Soulard Grill. You know, right behind Soulard Grill, cherub rib rub, all ribs rub always follows. So you got a pinch of that. So we have a pinch of both. We have our squirt of blue agave, cherub rib rub. Okay, guys. And the last thing we're gonna add in is a pinch of our white pepper. And that's all we're going to do for the sauce, you guys. Sounds delicious, huh? Because it's going to be. See you guys in a few. Okay, guys. So I'm about to lay down my pizza crust. So what I'm going to do to keep my pizza crust from sticking, I'm going to spray little Pam. Okay, onto my baking sheet. I lined it with foil. So I'm pulling out my pizza crust here. 
And as you can see, this is one long piece of crust, you guys. It's one long piece. So it's two crusts in here. So this is the crust. So guys, this crust is a little bit longer than my pan. But I'm only making pizza for one, not for two. So I'm going to cut this in half. I'm going to grab my pizza cutter. Now, if you're making pizza for your family, by all means, please use the whole piece of crust. But I'm not. I'm just making one little pizza for me. You guys, this reminds me of pizza at my school. <laughs> when I was growing up, they used to have pizza similar to this. And it's so funny. So, now I'm going to go ahead and spray a little bit of spray on the crust, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and add some sauce to my crust. Guys, this sauce is so amazing. Now, to this sauce, you guys, I added in just a little bit more blue agave. Just because it just needed a little more sweetness um, to offset. Because, you know, tomatoes are acidy. So, you basically want to put the, the sauce almost to the edge of the crust, but not all the way to the edge. Okay. And... To this, we're about to add our toppings. First, I want to get down. And then I like that. Also, guys, I want to put a little bit of extra sauce. I want that big pop of tomato. You see, guys, see that tomato? So we want to go maybe a half of an inch away from the crust, the edge of the crust, with our pizza sauce. You guys, if you're a person that likes a lot of sauce, then by all means, fill it up. But I'm not going to sauce it too hot too much. So, guys, this is our sauce. Now we're about to add our toppings. Okay, so to this pizza, we're going to add the chicken meatballs. You kind of can spread them out however you want them. I don't have a certain way to put them on there. I'm just putting them on there. We're going to add bacon. Beautiful bacon. So I guess our bacon can go like in between or however you want to position your bacon on your pizza. It's up to you. Okay, and I personally want a lot of bacon as well as the chicken meatballs. I like the way it gives the flavor to the meatball. To this, I'm also going to add in our tomato, which I showed you earlier. So we're adding in tomato. And guys, this tomato brings like this really good pop of freshness. And there's something about a, a tomato that goes in the oven. It just, it goes to another level. So guys, we have our bacon, our tomato, and our chicken meatballs on our chicken pizza. So we're going to come in now, guys. And we're going to add in some of our Parmesan, Romano, and Asiago cheese. Guys, this is what it looks like. So it's all these three different cheeses all together. So we're just going to drop that on top of the pizza like so. You don't need a lot because you're still going to come in with your mozzarella. So this actually adds a little tang, a little, it adds a little something, something to the pizza. Let's just put it that way. So we're going to put that on. Okay. And last but not least, guys, we're going to go ahead and lay down some mozzarella. So, guys, I'm actually going to use this mozzarella a little differently. I'm going to do slices. And, you guys, this is actually real, the mozzarella ball. Not that uh, mozzarella you guys are used to buying from the store that's, that's basically... Um, pasteurized this is actual mozzarella. and we're gonna take our slices of mozzarella and we're just gonna lay them on top just gonna lay them on top and you probably need about I'll say about six pretty pretty thin slices you don't need a lot of big thick pieces because you got to remember you have all that other cheese on there too so guys we are slicing our cheese here bam and then we have a little piece for the corner Okay, so guys, into a 350-degree oven, 
The crust needs to be in the oven. Actually, I'm sorry, 375 degree oven. And we're going to actually leave it in there. Oh, about... We're going to leave it in there about five to eight minutes, okay? So one of the things that I want to tell you too is, as you can see, my pizza, I put it down on here, but I actually think I'm going to add in my oven rack um, because I want to be able to get that circulation under the dough. I'm going to pick this up, put this on my oven rack, you guys. You see my little oven rack? So that it can kind of circulate as if it was because you can actually the way that this crust is it you can actually put it on your actual um actual oven rack but i'm going to use my actual rack in my pan um i apologize guys i didn't tell you that at first but i'm telling you now so definitely go ahead and make sure you get your oven rack okay see you in a few we're dropping this in a 375 degree oven for five to eight minutes Okay, Tasty Tasters, here's our pizza out of the oven. Guys, I stand corrected. I apologize to you. I was supposed to tell you that your pizza is supposed to stay in the oven between 15 to 18 minutes. And I said 5 to 8 minutes. So once again, it's 15 to 18 minutes based on your actual oven. I apologize. 15 to 18 minutes, not 5 to 8. Okay? So guys, this pizza was in the oven for actually 18 minutes because of my oven now to my pizza guys i like to add a little extra pizzazz always so i'm gonna add some parmesan reggiano to this pizza and that's the thing that we like to do here in, in where i am in st louis we love parmesan i'm pretty sure other people do too not just here okay so i've added some parmesan reggiano and the last thing i want a little heat you guys know me i like a little spice I'm going to come in with a little red pepper flake. Make it spicy. You know how I like to make my stuff a little spice. So we're going to red pepper flake. Okay. Put that under there. Now, guys, of course, you know I'm probably going to come in with a little something acidy, jalapeno, pickle, beet, something. Okay. But this is my pizza. Our chicken meatball stromboli pizza okay so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this for you guys so you can see what it looks like Ooh -wee. so guys that's the pizza itself look at that oh look at the beauty of that guys look at that there is something about using fresh mozzarella so guys, I'm about to go in for a bite, if I can keep it together. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. 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 Oh my goodness. Mmm. 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 Guys, this pizza is so good. Wait a minute. I just going to take one more bite. Hold on. Mmm. You guys hear that crunch on that crust? I don't know if you can hear that. Mmm. Mmm. Everything goes together so well. The tomatoes, the bacon, the meatball. Mmm. Oh. Okay, guys. Thank you once again for joining me here on Tasty TV. This is so delicious. Mmm. I can't wait to dig. I'm about to really dig. I almost stuck my hand back in my plate. Guys, I'm about to go dig into this pizza and enjoy it tremendously. Guys, I want to thank you so much once again for joining me here on ooh, Tasty TV. Oh, man. Look, look at this cheese pool, guys. Look at this cheese pool. Look, look, look. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sorry, guys. I had a moment. Mmm. 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 Thank you guys so much for joining me here on Tasty TV. It's always a pleasure cooking with you guys. Thank you so much. Definitely try this recipe. This is a delicious pizza. So guys, go ahead and comment. Subscribe. 
like if you haven't already. Give your girl a thumbs up and hit that notification bell ding, 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 so you can know next time I upload one of these amazing videos with the recipe for you. So thanks again, Tasty Tasters. I'm about to go and pizza out.